Hi, this is Darlene from Digital Photo Mentor. I'm excited to be introducing a new feature on the blog today called Ask Darlene. I get a lot of frequently asked questions through the website, in my classes, on the Facebook page, even on Twitter. And I felt it would be beneficial if I could answer as many of them as possible in this format. So the first installment we're going to do today is on Lightroom. I get a lot of questions around the catalog inside of Lightroom. It seems to be an area that causes a lot of confusion when you first get started, and even for some experienced users. So today we're going to cover six frequently asked questions about Lightroom catalogs. Stay with me and I'll be right back inside of Lightroom. Okay, here we are inside of Lightroom. I use Lightroom 5. If you use an older version, yours might look slightly different, but most of these things are going to be similar. I'm also on a Mac, so a PC, if you're on a PC, the menus might be slightly different, but you have the same options. So the first question that I get asked a lot in regards to Lightroom is, what is a catalog? It's a little bit confusing. Maybe the name is misleading. Basically, the catalog is your database, okay? Where the confusion comes in is that often people mistake it for their pictures. So there's two different things. The best way that I can explain the difference is that your catalog, if you think about uh, cooking in a recipe book, okay? So your catalog is like your recipe book. So inside your recipe book or your little thing where you put all your index cards where your recipes go are the formulas to make those recipes in your kitchen. Okay, but the food and the items to require to do that, so the raw materials are not inside of that book. Okay, they are in your pantry or in your fridge or in your freezer. Okay, the same thing applies in Lightroom. So your catalog is the database that is all the information about your images. So how you've labeled them, how you've flagged them, numbered them, ranked them, processed them in the develop module, all of that is stored inside your catalog. But your pictures live somewhere else. Okay, how do you know how many pictures you have in your catalog? If you look up in this upper right hand corner of Lightroom, you can see there's a tab here called catalog, and I hope that you can see this, that it says that I have 93,934 pictures in this catalog, okay? So the next question I get is where does your catalog live? Okay, so that's pretty easy to answer. And it's gonna be in here under catalog settings, under Lightroom, sorry, and it might be slightly different in a PC, okay? So you want to find your catalog settings under preferences or under catalog settings under the Lightroom menu. And it shows you right here where your catalog lives, okay? So that's where it is saved. If you wanna see it on your hard drive, just click that and it's gonna show you where it lives, okay? This is my Mac Finder, so it shows me that this catalog is inside my pictures folder, subfolder Lightroom, subfolder Lightroom 4, subfolder Lightroom catalog 4, and then inside of there, okay? So that's important to know if you ever need to make a copy or back it up where your catalog lives. Another question I get often is how many catalogs do I need? Okay, as you can see, I have 93,000 in this catalog. There's a lot of sort of different information out on the internet in terms of you need multiple catalogs, you don't wanna to have too many pictures in because it will slow down your Lightroom. That is true to, to a point. Um, obviously, I have a lot of images in this catalog and it hasn't really slowed me down, but it does depend on the speed and age of your processor. Okay, I do have multiple catalogs for different reasons. Some people will have a different catalog for each year. I I recommend if the, you haven't got any particular reason to split up your images, leave them as one catalog. Just to show you how many I have, right? so you can see how many different catalogs I have. So I have one called Lightroom 5, which is my main one, it has all my pictures in it. I have one called Teaching, so when I go do my classes, all the pictures that I need for my classes are in that catalog. I don't need to bring everything else, and it runs faster, so that's why I do that. I have another one called Portraits, which is for my portrait clients, and it's not really my personal work, so I don't need the two to mix. I have another one called events, and sometimes I'll label temporary ones like Australia or Nicaragua when I have a temporary hard drive that I bring on location with me and merge them together later. That's a little bit more advanced, but for the most part, I have about five different catalogs that I use, and none of the images need to cross over into the other. My weddings don't need to go into portraits, and my weddings and personal don't need to mix. So if you want to see all your images at one time, I highly recommend leaving it as one catalog.
Okay, another question that I get often, this is number four, if you're counting, is why are my images missing? Okay, you'll often see that a, a exclamation point shows up and your pictures will say that your picture is missing or offline. If that has shown up, what's happening is your images aren't gone. It just probably means that you've renamed them. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little example here and show you what happens if I rename a folder. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my finder and I'm gonna go and do this in my actual computer. Okay, so in here I have a folder called Nicaragua February 2014 and it's called Mine Raw. Okay, if I change the name of this folder, what happens is Lightroom is looking in this particular path for the images in this folder. If I rename any of them, or if I move it somewhere else, Lightroom doesn't know where to look for them, okay? So even if I just change the name of this folder to Lightroom Raw 2 and I added number two on it, okay? When I go back to Lightroom, it's gonna show me a whole bunch of question marks or exclamation marks because it's not finding the images. Okay, so down here you see that there's a question mark on the folder Okay, because it's looking for a folder called mine raw. Well, we know that that folder doesn't exist anymore because I changed the name of it, right? But Lightroom doesn't know that. So you get a question mark and it's grayed out. And then over here, you get this little exclamation point showing up, okay? So when you get this, there's no need to panic. You don't have to worry, your pictures are not gone. It probably just means that something has occurred outside of Lightroom, a change has been made, whether it's a file name change, a folder name change, or you move them physically, and Lightroom doesn't see them anymore, okay? So if it's an entire folder like this, it's a simple fix, okay? Simply right click on the name of the folder that's missing, and you'll see this little pop-up come up. You have a choice that says find missing folder, okay? So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm just gonna navigate to where I think the folder is if I know that I moved it. Okay, so there's the one that's called Mine Raw 2. Okay, so I've renamed it. I'm clicking on that to relink it. Okay, once I do that, all of a sudden, all my images are there again, the question mark is gone, and the exclamation points are gone, and my images are back inside Lightroom. Okay, so it's simply a matter of Lightroom has lost track of where they are. For this reason, I recommend that if you're going to do any kind of name changing or moving anything, do it inside of Lightroom. It's just as easy as outside and you don't end up with those missing link problems. Okay, same procedure to do that. If I wanna change the name of the folder back again, just right click on it. Now I have more options. Choose the rename option from the menu and rename it back to what I want it to be called in the first place. Okay? And you'll notice that it changes it not only inside of Lightroom, but if I go back to my folder, you'll see that the folder has now been changed in the name as well. Okay, so anything that you do inside of Lightroom happens in real time on your hard drive. The first time you do that, you may get a pop-up message saying that we're about to change something on your hard drive. Do you want to continue? I usually, I just turn that off because I do this a lot and I don't want the pop-up message, okay? If you want to have the message every time, just leave it on and it's reminding you that this is a real change, okay? So not to panic if your images say that they're missing, okay? If you go through this process and you can't locate them or it finds some of them, you may have put them in different folders, you may have a bit more work to do to relink them. So again, this is highly why I highly recommend renaming and moving anything inside of Lightroom, okay? So if, for example, I wanted to move a folder, um, I could move this folder called From Monty's into the Nicaragua folder, okay? And you just do that by grabbing it and dragging and dropping, and it moves the folder, again, not only just inside of Lightroom, but inside of your hard drive as well. It's moving things on the hard drive, okay? So that's the best way to, to, to do file handling. Okay, question number five under the frequently asked questions is how do I back up my images and my catalog and why is this important? Okay, well we all know that hard drives crashes happen, images get lost, so we know that we need to back up our images, right? So ideally, you want to have one copy on your main drive that you use for everything, one copy somewhere else, and a third copy off-site, meaning outside of your house or place of business, such as an online backup or on a third hard drive and put it in a safe deposit box or something like that. Because if, um, heaven forbid, something happens to your home or office and you lose everything there, you've got no backup other than that. 
Okay, so third site off back offsite backup is an ideal situation. Okay, why you want to back up your images and your catalog, okay, is important because remember how I talked about the recipe book. Okay, so you can back up your your images, which is like your raw materials, but if you haven't backed up the recipe book and that catalog. Everything that you've done to your images inside of Lightroom is gone. Okay, so if you spent hours editing and tagging and keywording and processing your images, maybe you've even planned a slideshow or done some prints or made a book, all of that is now gone. Okay, that's all saved inside of your catalog. So there's um, something in your preferences that you can set up your catalog savings. Okay, okay that's again in your catalog settings which you can get to under your preferences, general tab right here, and then go to catalog settings. Okay, so you can set up, you see there's a little dialog box here, back up the catalog, how often? Okay, so from the pull down menu, I recommend every time Lightroom exits. Okay, you could do it once a day, so then at the end of the day, it backs up everything that you've done that day. The more often that you back up, the less problems you are, going to have restoring if you do have a crash, okay? If you only back up once a month and you have a crash, well, your last backup is a month ago, so everything you did in that period is gone. So I recommend every time Lightroom exits, you don't always have to do it. There's a dialog box that will come up and you can you know, skip it, but it gives you the, the reminder, oh, hey, you need to do this, okay? So I recommend every time Lightroom exits, okay? The other thing that you want to do is set up where you're going to save this. And this is something that's only going to show up when you quit Lightroom. So if we go ahead and say we're going to quit Lightroom now, okay, so that's shutting the program, this new dialog box pops up that maybe you haven't seen if you haven't done backup before. This is the only time you're going to have a choice of where to save this thing. Okay, so if you remember where we looked at where my catalog lives, it lives on my main Macintosh hard drive. I have this stored to an external drive. So you want your catalog, just like your images, if you stored your images on drive A and your backup on drive A, what happens if drive A is, is kaput? You got nothing, right? So you wanna store your catalog on hard drive A and your backup somewhere else, hard drive B and ideally on hard drive C. Okay, so make sure that you choose where to store this and you choose a drive that is different than where your original catalog lives. Okay, and go back in the video to see where to find your catalog if you're not sure where it is. Okay, so this is the only time that you can do that. Okay, I'm just going to say skip for now and continue. So let's relaunch Lightroom. So there you can see I have it optionally asking me which catalog to open when I launch Lightroom. You can also set it to uh, open the same one every time. I have it prompt me because then I can choose which one I want. Okay, so then the last frequently asked question I get is how many backups do I need? Okay, so we're going to go back to this folder and actually look at my backups. Okay, so I have a folder on this external drive called Lightroom Backups, and I have backups for the various different catalogs that I have. So you can get an idea of what types of catalogs I have again. So like I said, I have about six. So events, main, portrait, retouching, teaching, and weddings. If you don't do all of those things, you really don't need multiple catalogs. Okay? So you can see how many backups I have. Okay, Right now, it looks like I have about 24, and it's probably time to delete a few. I usually recommend keeping about half a dozen because what will happen is it's gonna to start to fill up hard drive space. You can go in and see how big this is. Like this one is almost three gigabytes. So imagine 24 of these things is gonna to start to take up a little bit of space. So I'm actually gonna do this right now. Um, so I'm gonna go and delete at least 13 of them, right? So I'm just gonna select them and delete them. So now I'm down to sort of my January to April backups. I've got 11, okay? So I'm comfortable with that. I'm gonna keep 11. If I think I have too many in here, I can go check, okay? I don't use these ones as often, so I can go delete these ones as well. I don't need as many. So really, you don't need to keep probably more than about six. The reason you wanna keep a few though is that for some reason, if one catalog is corrupt, you wanna be able to go back another version or two to recover as much as you can. The whole idea behind backups and having a system like this in place is that it's not a matter of if your hard drive will crash, honestly, it's when, okay? It's all electronics and hard drives crash that it's not, it's an eventuality, okay? It's a reality. So the backup plan that you have in place is how quickly 
after a crash, can you be up and running again? And with how much stress, okay? If you don't have a good backup plan in place, recovery may be difficult, if at all possible, and it may be really stressful. So putting some good measures into place ensures that if you have a back a crash and you have a proper plan in place, you could be up and running within five or 10 minutes, fully recovered, okay? A lot less stressful. I know that I had an image crash on a memory card and I've lost about a thousand images. And to this day, this is three years down the road, it still stresses me out and I'd love to get those back. So try and avoid that eventuality and make a plan, have a plan, right? You'll notice that we're wearing life jackets in this picture right here, okay? That's a safety plan. So backing up your Lightroom catalog, that's your life jacket. So make sure that you have a good plan in place. And if you're not sure, absolutely ask questions, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed these uh, six frequently asked questions and it's taken away some of the mystery around the Lightroom catalog for you. Again, if you do have questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below and get in touch and I'll try and answer you uh, there. Until next time, take care and we'll see you again.